Hi, I'm Darren Palmer. I'm General Manager for Battery Electric Vehicles for Ford. And today we just wanted to celebrate what you and your teams have done on this amazing product. It was about three years ago when we decided to change direction as a company. We decided we're not going to make compliance electric vehicles anymore. We're going to make electric vehicles that appeal to the heart first, as we know the head is going to follow. It was at that time we did a lot of research with electric vehicle customers in the field all around the world. And we determined that the way forward was to make electric cars that do things we could never do before. And every one of our electric vehicles are going to do that. But it all started with this one. And we went around the company to look at what was possible. And when they showed us the specification of what electric could do, we thought we could tie that with one of our best brands. And that was a radical idea at the time. Now it seems like it was a great idea. So we tied together electric performance and Mustang. And we dared to do that with a new body style and in a tech forward product that appeals to the younger millennials and tech forward customers, which is associated with electric vehicles. And that's where this vehicle was born. But the really clever piece was, we went round to all of the different departments and said, what could you give us? And when we told them this was going to be a Mustang, they say that we've got to bring our A game. And in every department, that's what they did. It started with the exterior design. And we asked what happens when you mash together a Mustang and an SUV body style. And the first sketches, they really had the essence of this guy. And that team worked really late into the night to bring those forward to see what was possible. And we went to the next department. We went to the interior team and said, what can you give us? And we told them again, it was going to be Mustang. And they worked late in the night as well to show us what they could do. Then we went to performance and said, what could, what could we get our EPE electrified engineering team? What can you give us? And they said, we're going to work on what we can do for performance. But we already could see that we could get some great performance figures, but we knew we wanted more. So they worked on that one. Another system on this car, we said we wanted it to feel special from the moment you walk up. And the first thing you touch is the door handle. So we asked that team to work on what is possible. And they brought forward a new type of design that was almost handleless. Um, that had never been done before. And it required a new type of pusher to open the door for you, take, to take the uh, strain away from the door and open it part to the first detent. And that team worked on a brand new system and they have delivered it on this car. It looks like a little iPhone button and when you press it, the door opens to you. This is also over the air updatable and gives us lots of options for later. We asked every group to bring their A game because this was a Mustang and they did. This is, you know, the first interaction with the vehicle and it, and it does signal something different. And it's also a great example of new technology where, um, you know, engineers have great ideas, but sometimes you got to fight for it. And uh, the way the team fought to make it real and give it a more natural human interaction is just really impressive. But also it was built on experience with ELATS on Continental. So over time, we're building this competency and could do more and more, take more risk, do more interesting, innovative ideas like that. It even re required a pivot in the middle because we had a slightly different design with a button on the door. And during development, we found that wasn't going to work for us. And the whole team had to pivot and move it up to that B pillar. And they did it super fast, super efficient. It was all delivered on time. Right. There's an important lesson in that too, right? So part of being agile is knowing when to fold them, uh, not give up on the idea, but uh, you know, student body left instead of student body right and find a new way. It is the first touch anybody has with the car. And it says, this is something special. And they can show their friends and family and everybody. And we've watched them do that online. Uh, so made it. And this was offered by the body team. We yeah. said, what can you do for us? And they, in conjunction with design, they said, we could do this. We've never done it before. Nobody's ever done it before. It uses a pusher to open the door, but it requires a lot of engineering to make it work smoothly. They took it on and they led it every piece of the way to the end. And it was difficult. It uses inertia to detect when it's open. Right. And it was really difficult to get right, but they stuck with it to the end and it worked beautifully. That's great. Very elegant. You know, I, I give a lot of friends and neighbors you guys do as well when you drive them. And my favorite is, I get in the car, I shut the door, and I watch them sit there on the side driver, uh, the passenger door, 
and they look and they look and they look and finally you see the aha moment and they hit the button and the door opens and there's just just delight in their eyes right you mentioned the power of the empowerment and the so the management will give you intent we want an electric mustang fill in the creative spaces and then go you weren't being managed by task it was here's the intent you guys tell us what you need that's exactly that's what we need